Yeah, so yesterday as I was coming back from fishing, the truck quit on me. I had to use a booster pack to get it running. Eh, 12 volts, 11.9. And uh, noticed that the alternator was only putting out 12 and a half to 13.6 volts, I think. So I'm just going to see if it'll fire up and go pick up a new alternator. So the battery read 12. Just see if I can get another reading on it. Now it's putting out 14.24. Okay, I'm going to change the alternator anyway because uh, it was pretty hot yesterday and I was pulling the boat back from the lake when these problems occurred. So that kind of tells me that maybe, maybe the bearings or something inside the battery were getting warm and, or inside the alternator getting warm and going wonky. So I think to be on the safe side, given I've got 176,000 kilometers on it, I'll, uh, I'll change it just to be a little more certain. Just going to start taking pieces out of the way, make it a little more accessible. Get rid of this breather tube or air intake. Three seven millimeter bolts for that. These two hose clamps are eight mil. What's hanging up here? Oh, just a little wire support pops out. I'll pull this breather tube, blow by tube out of the way. Just make an extension for the old 3 8 ratchet. So I can get down to that tensioner. And I believe this turns counterclockwise. Yes, it does.
took the positive terminal off the battery. See if I can get in here and release this clip on the alternator. There's one. I just used a little pick to get in behind to pull it. And there's one more little one here. Try a bit of an angled pick on it. There we go. So I just got in behind and pried that out a bit. This looks like a 10 mil no, it's an 11. To take the main wire off the alternator. The main power wire from the battery. Just using a couple of fingers or hands so I don't lose this nut. and out of the way. This was squeaking a little while ago but I didn't, you know, it was still charging so I didn't pay it much attention. And then it seems it got pretty warm under the hood because I was pulling the boat and up and down hills coming home from the lake. Working it pretty good. So I don't know if that caused a little bit of wonkiness in the charging. It's back to sort of charging normally again this morning. Uh, having said that, like I said, I got 176 thou kilometers on this, so a little over 100,000 miles. So for 2001, that's not bad. But I think I'll change this and uh, pop in the the auto value one. It came in at about. 240 or 50 bucks and Ford wanted over 400 so I'll take the chance and what size these are 14 mil yeah 13 not been off since new. Put another extension on, try getting the bottoms loose. throwing a wrench on for a snipe and just work it gently I don't want to go breaking stuff oh yeah these might be the original original alternator the bolt's never taken off. Oh, well that one I think stripped. 
this is a 12 point. I'm going to see if I got a, a 6 point half inch that will fit on there. Found a 6 point 3 eighths deep socket so I'll try that. Oh, yeah, that's tight. I switched from the ratchet to this little breaker bar that I got. Feels like it's stripping. Shit. I'm going to play with this for a bit and then I'll bring you back. Well, I tried my little impact driver and it didn't budge it. So I'm using the old, the old impact driver. It's tight. I gotta move you out of the way to try to get in here a little better. Okay, that beating on it might have loosened it up a bit. I put the breaker bar on and got a little snipe. And it has come loose. I don't know if that's loctited or just corroded. Either way it has not been off in a long, long time. Yeah, there's no Loctite on that one, so I can't see them using that, but who knows. And then there's one more little place where the wire harness is, come on, is pushed into the, into the body of the alternator. Just using a pick to help work it out. Oh, and I broke it. Oh well. That's what zip ties are for. Last one and it pops pops out of place. Yeah, that little Christmas tree clip broke, so I'll just use a zip strap to put that back together. Check that both of these are the same, or relatively the same. Okay, stop. Before you return parts, please call. Huh. Well, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, this one's noticeably bigger because it's a 130, so that was a 95 amp, 90 or 95. <clears throat> but from what I read on the internet, 
they'll both work. And I thought more is better, so I'll go with it. One thing I want to do is put this little extension onto the new one. Try and pry this off without breaking anything. That's an 11 mil as well. Come on. I'll clean up the greblies inside there before I reinstall. It's not gonna, that thing's gonna come out somehow. It's gonna take a minute and knock the corrosion off of this one bolt. Yeah, that should work. Couldn't get this changed out to uh, where did I where did I put that to this thing, which is sort of just a little extension. But I think the wire will reach as long as I I hook up that main power wire before I bolt this in. So same same. That's the other thing I want to check. And there we are. Just check, make sure these are snug. Good, good. Also, just going to take a little bit of this never sees copper coat, pipe dope, whatever you want to call it. Just get a little bit on the threads in each of these. This is dirty stuff, it gets on everything. But it does work. Just wipe off the excess. Get this 
this kind of in place and hook up the power wire. Just take a little emery cloth. Plug these wires back in. the top bolt ready and pop it in to hold everything in place. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of leftover stretch in that wire without using that uh, that little extender. But I don't want to risk breaking something on this. Just putting in the bottom bolts now. I was worried about how sloppy they are in the mounting holes, but it's the same with the other one. So. Should work. I think I'll uh, get rid of this little Christmas tree and cut that off and just use a zip strap on there as well. I do love those zip straps.
There, secured back in place. I'll put a little torquage on these. The only thing I was a little worried about is, given the, the larger size of this alternator, this uh, rad hose can rub. So I'm just going to slide this sheathing farther in to protect it. Because it wasn't really rubbing on too much else. That should do the trick there. I'm just going to use a breaker bar and a snipe and don't know what the torque specs are, so that's probably tight enough. And the last one. Now the only thing that remains to be seen is that the belt's long enough. Once I uh, take the tension off or or move the tensioner, that the belt's long enough to fit over this slightly larger pulley. All the forums said that you know you can use these larger. Uh, alternators more at higher amperage without any issues so we'll see so that all looks lined up take the tension off It fits. Take. Don't put it on backwards. I'm going to leave the cover off that uh, the throttle body while I fire it up and just see how make sure everything's charging properly and turning and doing what it's supposed to. Just going to pop the cable back on. Good and solid. 
Set this to 20 volt DC. Reading zero. The battery's got 12.25 volts. I'm going to go fire it up and see if I let the smoke out or if it charges at the right voltage. So that's better than the the 12.5 to 13.2 that it was charging yesterday. Everything seems to be running in line, in sync. No smoke anywhere. So I'll call that a win. Just a quick little clip at the end. That's pretty noisy. So if this wasn't gone, it wasn't far from going. Yeah. Okay, well, what's done is done. Okay, see ya.